Hey everyone, Doug from Convology here. I have a quick tutorial for you with Thrive Architect. Uh, here on the screen, uh, we have three columns, and this is a question that I get all the time from my clients. Uh, when they're looking to have three columns on a page, and they want the columns to be equal height, and they always never know how to do it. They Sometimes they come in here and they hit enter a few times trying to get it to line up, and sometimes it works, um, but sometimes it doesn't, and it ends up looking um, bad on different screen sizes and when those text boxes drop down. Um, so I'm going to show you two different ways that you can get these columns to uh, be identical height and to look a lot better. So in this first example here, we have three columns, and each of these columns are an image and some text within a content box, and that content box is within a column. And I've given each of these content boxes a drop shadow because it's going to be on a white background, and, and maybe you think that looks great. So in this first example, the way to make these equal height is to click into the first content box, the longest one, right? Find the longest content box and go to the layout and position section. And where you see height, that's how it will look. When you see the height, you want to, uh, right here under min, start to click into the auto section with your mouse and, just, and then click and drag up and down. And you'll find that there is a value here. For us, our value is about, um, let's say about 550. Right, so I found that the minimum height of my content box is 550 pixels. So now all I have to do is come into each of my other content boxes under min height, type in 550, go to the third one and type in 550, and now all of my boxes are equal height. A couple tips for you. You will want to make sure that your images that you're using are equal height. And the easiest way to do this is to find three images that you want to use, open them up in your favorite image editor, and create a, a basic image first, or a basic file first, that is a set pixel tall. So let's say that we wanted a 500 by 500 square. Then just drag your image in and make sure that it's constrained to a maximum of 500 pixels, or whatever size you want. That'll make it um, nice so that each of your texts uh, align nicely. If, if that weren't the case, let's pretend this middle image wasn't the same size. Instead, it was maybe this size, right? And I'd come in here and I'd center it. Well, then I'm kind of back at square one of trying to, you know, maybe I add some margin and I've got to kind of eyeball it and make sure I get it exactly right. So instead of having to fuss with any of that, just make sure that all of your images are the same size, uh, that when you implement them, you, don't, you can keep a nice clean line and everything looks good. Now in my second example here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to affect the columns themselves and not the content boxes. I still have the same images, the same content, still within a content box and a column. But instead I'm going to use a background color on my columns and because the columns themselves will automatically, if I hover over them, dynamically be the same size by default, because when one expands they all expand, I can just add color to them and they look pretty good. So the first thing you'll do is find your first column. It doesn't matter if you'd start with the largest one or the smallest one. And go into the background style and apply a background color. And then go to your second column and do the same thing. Apply a background color. And then your third column, or however many columns you have. And again, apply a background color. You'll see that despite the fact that these columns were different sizes, because of the content boxes, the columns themselves in, in all actuality were the same size. So we've taken columns that looked uneven and we've added that background color which makes them appear to be the exact same size. Now we can do anything we want to these. We can come back in and we can apply the shadows and we get the same effect as we did with our content boxes, but this time I'm applying that drop shadow to the column. I'll show what that looks like if I didn't apply it to the column, but instead I applied it to the content box that this was within. You'll notice that I get a shadow effect here that's in the content box and not the column. So we'll just make sure that we undo that, come back to our background column, add our shadow. And there you go. And then you can make any tweaks to the font colors and things like that to make them stand out. So that's two ways that you can take content within columns and content boxes and make them appear to be the exact same height. This will look much better with your designs. If you have any questions, feel free to comment in the blog post or on the video here in the description, and I will be happy to answer your questions. Again, this is Doug with Convology. That was a quick tutorial that I hope will help you out in your designs.